Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a very special update for our Divi Social Sharing Buttons module. This is version 2.0, so let's take a look at all of the exciting new features. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can click the link in the description and you'll go to the blog post where we have some additional information. So we have been working on this update since February. So it's been about five months or so. And this update is huge. We were not going to make it 2.0. We were just going to be like, well, 1.1 or whatever. And then we're like, wait a minute, this is huge. Why are we not, you know, making it 2.0? So we went ahead and did that. Anyway, this update has some major changes to the layouts and also a brand new set of features called social sharing options. So let's take a look at what those are. So these new sharing options, that I don't know of anything out there like this. I don't know of anything like this in WordPress, in any plugin, I don't know, maybe there is. But anyway, let's take a look at this and when you combine this idea of being able to share custom title text, custom images, custom links and all this stuff, and you combine that with Divi, you get a module with a lot of options. So the first set of options, we call them global sharing options. Now we mean global as in global to that specific module. It would not be the same as global to your whole site. You, you could make it global, you know, like the normal Divi global things. But when I say global, I'm referring to all the networks. So when I say global sharing options, we're talking about things like this and I have a couple screenshots here. So you can set either the post title when it, when you share it, you know, when you share this like on Facebook, right? There's going to be a, an image preview and a title and a message and then the actual link. That's what we're talking about. Customizing those things. So you could use the post title by default, right? So whatever your post title is or page title, that's what it would use. You could use the regular post excerpt and that would show up as the little short description. You could use the normal post link and you could use the normal featured image. Like when you set a featured image in WordPress, but, and th those are great. That's, a, that's all note also, but you can now choose anything custom for those. All right. So let me just show you an example. If you choose custom title, well then you can enter your custom title. You could say whatever you want. And again, this applies, this would apply to any network that someone shares, whether that's WhatsApp or Telegram or whatever, your custom title would show there. Same thing with custom text. Instead of using the excerpt, you could use custom text and write your message. The sharing link. Now this was a good one because people were like, Hey, I want to put these sharing buttons on a thank you page or, you know, or like a confirmation page after someone's opted in or bought a product or whatever. Well, if someone tries to share that, why would, it would be so weird. You would be sharing the thank you page. Well, now you can choose the page of like the product or the, the feature or the, the landing page, whatever it was. Now you can put that link in there and that link will share. All right. And the same with the image. You could share um, any image that you want that's different than the featured image. Maybe you want it to be a different size or just a different image totally. Now, each of these settings, like I said, we're global. They're also individual network sharing options. So what I mean is, and I'll show you this in the live site, inside each network, you could, you could have something different for every single network, for every setting. Let me show you. All right, so I open up the module settings here. Right here is sharing options. So I, I could enable global sharing options. And here's what I was talking about, right? And that's wonderful, right? The, the ability to do these. But what I was saying is like, let's, let's say I go in Facebook. Well, now I have sharing options inside this network. I, I, for Facebook, I could make, you know, I could make my own title, title for Facebook. You know, I wouldn't actually say that, but you get the idea. I could have a featured image that's like specific to Facebook's um, size and a, a, a really, um, I guess a good use case like Pinterest, you know how the, the, the images on Pinterest are um, um, two, three image aspect ratio. There you go. You could change the image there. 
So any network inside each of these, it's going to have these social sharing options. Now there are sometimes limitations like, um, I don't know offhand, but like certain networks, it, certain thing wouldn't be relevant. So, um, but in general, the ability um, to do this. So the global ones right here in the main tab, like let's say you go in and set them, they would apply to all of them, but then like, let's say you override one of them, then the individual one takes priority for that one, but the rest would stay the same. All right, so anyway, that whole thing, I've talked for a couple minutes, but that was like a major development process, getting these to work and testing them, and, and there could still be bugs, so, you know, give us some grace here. There's so many options, so many networks, um, so yeah, hopefully everything's working out pretty good. The other major change that we talk about in the blog post is a responsive layout system. And you may think, well, we already have layouts and that's right. We already had the ability to choose like from four different layouts. So, if, so like here is what you're seeing is the icons on the left and then the image on the right. We actually added this new one. So that is a new option. But anyway, like these other options, right? Or, or just the icon and just the text, right? So all these things. We had that before, but now there's a little responsive icon here. And this may seem like, well, yeah, just add the responsive icon. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. This took a lot of development time to be able to choose a different layout. So, so let's say I want this layout for desktop. And then let's say, well, on my phone view, oh, it looks nasty, right? Now I could change the number of columns. Oops, like, like that. And I'd be like, okay, problem solved or I could just change the layout. Now I want to put icons there. And by the way, now I want, you know, this many rows of icons or whatever. So you see the flexibility, both of these settings here, the number of columns and the layout now have responsive options. So you can change it for desktop, tablet, and phone. All right. And then the other thing here was uh, related to, like I said, the new, the one new option there, but also if I choose icon only, there's a new setting here for the icon width. Right now it's on equalize and, and I'll, you can kind of see what it's doing. The width is changing based on, you know, how much space it has, right? That's because it's on equalize. If I put it on fixed, well then again, you can set the number of columns, right? But notice how the the it's like square or I could make it rounded, whatever. But my point is the the height and the width are the same here when they're on fixed. And you can change this alignment also. So that's that's all new there. So the new layout and then the whole options related to the icon only. Oh, and then I, I forgot to mention, actually we added new social networks. So um, the ones that are new Facebook Messenger is new. When you go in here and choose your network, you see Facebook Messenger is new. Uh, Telegram is new. Gab is new. MeWe is new. And Copy. So obviously, Copy URL, that's um, not a social network, of course, but that's a really nice way for someone to just copy the URL and then share it however they wanted to share it, right, directly. And I just have a note here. Let us know if you have new social networks that we should add. There are some limitations. There has to be an API available for that and everything. Um, some other improvements. So we actually changed how some of the code works. We improved the, so kind of like what Divi's doing, making things dynamic. We made the CSS dynamic as well. So it's only going to apply if you have that module on the page. Um, there was some, you know, there's always some minor bug fixes and stuff. And I did update some terminology. So things like the names of a couple of the toggles, like I think button text, it said share text or something. So it's I tried to make it more clear. And then like some of the setting names and some of the help text, that's all been updated. All right. So that pretty much covers the gist of this update. You know, we have new documentation available. We, we have that already. So, you know, go check that out. And it's basically what I just covered information about these new features and stuff. 
um, and then the product page itself is updated. So that was a lot, uh, and I know I, I took a while to explain all this, but it took a lot longer to develop. It took many, many months. So we're really excited to release this. And like I said, kind of give us some grace, like if, if, if there's some bugs, because this is crazy. We're working with, you know, 13 different APIs, trying to get everything to work and those custom settings, I, I don't know anything like it. I, we certainly didn't reference any anyone else. Like maybe there's another plugin out there and I didn't even know it, but like we certainly did not reference. This is all our own idea, all custom made. And, and then just improving everything else just feels really good, like a really good update. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you have liked this update. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.